Today, the church celebrates the feast of Saint John of God, a Portuguese saint who, with great enthusiasm, wanted to, to serve God after 40 years or so of a life of dissolution. So enthused was he to serve the Lord after his conversion of heart, he opted to go to Africa as a missionary, and he longed to be a martyr. But he certainly learned through spiritual counsel and advice that spiritual martyrdom was not what God was calling him to do or to be. He was called to serve in yet another way. And it wasn't until he was in the hospital, in a mental institution, after having publicly beaten himself for mortification, that another saint came to him, St. John of Avila, and counseled him, instead of doing severe physical mortification, against himself, he was, he was counseled to channel his focus and his charity on working for the needs of the poor and those who were sick. And so he did. He channeled his focus. He channeled his intensity. He channeled his charity out of humility into meeting the needs of those who were suffering and recognizing that the poor needed proper medical care. And so he established a hospital for the poor and then established an order working with the poor in the hospital that he built. His order is called the Order Hospitalis and still exists today with some 1,100 members throughout the world. This particular order that meets the needs of the poor, where they are, in the very depths of their suffering and their pain, where they meet them with the face of Christ and sharing the love of Christ and his mercy and his hope and his promise of new life with him. All this, my dear friends of Christ, because one saint of God heard from another saint of God how to redirect his life. We can all of us do that, can we not, for someone else? Help them, guide them, redirect them, encourage them, support them, love them. Saints in the making, seek someone out today through the power of the Holy Spirit, asking for his inspiration. And give that person a word of encouragement. St. John of Avila certainly gave St. John of God a great word of encouragement that changed St. John of God's entire life and the lives of many after him. Perhaps through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that could happen for you and me in reference to someone else. And we can help change and transform the world by making space for grace.